Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Magda Changelings. Magda Changelings is a combo deck revolving around Magda and her synergy with dwarves to create treasure tokens. Modern is lacking in quality dwarves, however, which is where Changelings come in. Magda's abilities combine with Changelings to both create treasure tokens and search for creatures since they're both dragons and dwarves. Mothdust Changeling can tap any creature, including itself, which, in combination with Magda, generates treasures and lets you spew your hand onto the table in a manner reminiscent of Springleaf Drum Affinity. Your goal is to play cheap changelings and create treasures as fast as possible since Magda's third ability requires you to sacrifice five treasures. With Magda and Moth Dust in play, there are a number of lines available. 1. With an untapped Universal Automaton, you can fetch Clock of Omens and generate infinite treasures. First, tap Automaton and Clock to untap Automaton, which creates an untapped treasure. Then tap the treasure and Automaton to untap Automaton again, and repeat infinitely. This creates infinite treasures, but not infinite mana, since you need to tap the treasures. However, you can still sacrifice the treasures to Magda. With Magda, you can sacrifice treasures to fetch every changeling and artifact you could want out of your deck. After putting all your changelings into play, fetch Karthus Tyrant of Jund, which will untap all your creatures and give them haste, which should easily be enough for lethal damage. If you don't have Automaton, you can fetch a big artifact or dragon, which, while they don't win the game immediately, are big threats that can be a problem to deal with, especially put into play on turn 3. Potential cards are Platinum Imperion, Sundering Titan, Volus' Citadel, Old Gnawbone, or Zeatora the Incinerator. Alternatively, you can find Bootlegger's Stash and potentially win next turn by tutoring Time Sieve and taking infinite turns. Your best starts involve a turn 1 Moth Dust Changeling into turn 2 Magda, immediately creating 2 treasures. Valiant Changeling can potentially come down on turn 2 since any Changeling reduces its cost by 5 and it's a 4 3 double striker with Magda in play. Valiant Changeling also combos with Pyre of Heroes since it's a 7 mana creature that counts as every creature type, and so you can Pyre it into big threats like Platinum Imperion and Sundering Titan. Ragavan is a solid turn 1 threat that creates treasures to ramp or for Magda and acts as a lightning rod for removal, diverting that removal from future Magdas. Grist acts as removal and another threat, continually making insect tokens. Notably, Grist is better in this deck than any other since the plus 1 ability repeats if you mill over an insect and all your changelings count as insects. An early Grist or Valiant changeling represent your best threats if you're forced to go with a beatdown plan instead of the combo game plan. Pyre of Heroes is an excellent tutor, able to find almost any creature in the deck. It can transform Grist's insect tokens into either of the 1 mana combo pieces Moth Dust or Automaton. It can turn 1 mana changelings into Magda, Unsettled Mariner, or Masked Vandal, and it can turn 2 mana creatures into Grist, Mirror Entity, or Imperial Recruiter. Unsettled Mariner acts as protection for your creatures and yourself. Being a combo deck, it may seem strange to run Yorion. However, Yorion is a solid body that can come down almost or completely for free with Magda's treasures, blinking Magda and all your changelings to create a replacement set of more treasures. Urza Saga is a potential inclusion since it can tutor for Universal Automaton or Springleaf Drum, gives you access to other mainboard cards like Soul Guide Lantern, and provides another mid-range threat in the form of tokens. The biggest strike against it is that it's a colorless land and makes your mana base more vulnerable to Blood Moon and other hate. There are a lot of creature types to juggle in this deck, and while the changelings themselves are simple enough since they count as every type, other cards aren't so easy. Cavern of Souls, Secluded Courtyard, and Unclaimed Territory all must name a specific creature type. Types to keep in mind when choosing are Dwarf or Berserker for Magda, Monkey or Pirate for Ragavan, Insect for Grist, Human for Recruiter and Sideboard creatures like Sanctifier, Onvac, and Thalia, Dragon for Sideboard Obsidian Charmaw and Karthus, Carrier for Sideboard Plague Engineer, Bird or Serpent for Yorion, and any other types depending on changes made to the deck list, especially any types that overlap on multiple different cards. Haven of the Spirit Dragon cares about dragons and can rebuy important changeling combo pieces like Moth Dust and Automaton. Magda is a dwarf that cares about other dwarves and dragons. Grist is an insect, while Imperial Recruiter is a human. Karthus gains control of, untaps, and gives haste to dragons. And Pyre of Heroes cares about the type of creature you sacrifice with it and the type you can tutor for with it. Here's a graph showing all the Pyre lines. Sideboarding Cards you cut depend heavily on matchup and are usually Masked Vandal, Platinum Imperion, Sundering Titan, and Ragavan, especially on the draw. Sanctifier Onvet comes in against graveyard strategies and red-black decks like Death Shadow. Thalia fights Control, Storm, and any other spell-based decks such as Murktide. 
Obsidian Charimoth fights big mana decks like Tron and any other deck where specific lands are important, such as Urza Saga and Inkmoth Nexus. Charmoth is also tutorable by Magda. Reaper King is for hitting permanents generically, specifically in prison decks where you need to snipe particular lock pieces. Plague Engineer is for tribal decks like Elementals, but can be replaced depending on the metagame. Other potential sideboard cards include any sort of grindy value permanent like Dark Confidant, Realm Walker, etc. Magda Changeling's biggest challengers are any value-oriented mid-range or control decks that have a lot of instant speed interaction to kill or counter your combo pieces, especially Magda. Cavern of Souls, Aether Vial, and Pyro of Heroes all help to circumvent those problems. Tips and Tricks If you're missing Automaton for the clock kill, you can pyre away two drops for Imperial Recruiter to find it. You can similarly find Magda with one drops. Karthus combines with some Changeling's abilities. You can give Mothdust Changeling flying before Karthus untaps it, also creating treasures with Magda. Mirror Entity turns your non-Changeling creatures into dragons. You can activate Mirror Entity for zero to kill all your creatures, useful against something like Living End. Mana Confluence can't be activated if you control Platinum Imperion, however City of Grass can be tapped by Fire and Ice, so pick your poison. Unsettled Mariner's Protection also extends to the player, which is useful in various situations such as Valakut Triggers, Char Belcher, Discard Spells, etc. You can activate Aether Vial in your upkeep to flash in a lower mana value creature before you take up its counters. In very long games, it's possible you may want to take up Aether Vial as high as 8. You can reset Vial with Yorion. <clears throat> this is Ami from the future, and I have some changes to make. So after playing with the deck a bit, I've come to a few conclusions. First off, this should not be a Yorion deck. This is primarily a combo deck, and there are few worthwhile permanents to blink. So cutting Yorion means drastically reducing the card count. The first to go is any excess flex slots, like Masked Vandal. Changeling Outcast is the worst of the changelings, since it doesn't enable the combo. There's barely any removal to clear the way for Ragavan, so that's out too. And next are individual card choices. Platinum Imperium simply isn't good. There are a few decks that 1. can't remove it, and 2. are defeated by it. It's basically only good against Burn and other aggro decks that lack mainboard removal for artifacts like Prowess. The Pyre Valiant Changeling into an 8-drop plan is still good, but we need a better one for when Sundering Titan isn't effective, so I've included one Archon of Cruelty. Next, Grist isn't that good in this deck. We actively don't want to sacrifice our creatures since we need them to make treasures, and the lack of good removal or blockers means Grist dies easily. It's still probably correct to have one copy that can be tutored for, but that's it. Similarly, Imperial Recruiter isn't good. This isn't an A-B combo deck like Splinter Twin. We don't just need Magda plus a Changeling, we need many Changelings. The tempo loss from taking an entire turn to play Recruiter simply isn't worth it. And in the same vein, Springleaf Drum is better than Aether Vial. We have few 3-drops, no combat tricks or flash required ETVs, and we're not an aggro tempo deck. Drum is better at getting out small stuff quickly. An epiphany I had is that because so many creatures in the deck are changelings, we can run the busted tribal cards of other tribal decks, notably Risen Reef and Harmonic Sliver out of the sideboard, but there are potentially other options as well. Another card I'd be curious to test out is Spellsetter Sprite. Other changes I made were updating the mana base and diversifying the sideboard. This deck is a blast to play and definitely warrants further experimentation. A final note for Moto users, this deck is unbelievably click intensive. If you do decide to play the deck online, you'll need to include a suboptimal win condition such as cranial plating to speed up the win. This deck list and primer were based heavily on work written by author Green Sky Dragon. You can read their original article in a link in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Magda Changelings. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.